Alright, so this video is going to show you how to upload the executable file that's created by Visual Studio into WebCT. So once you've completed your form and all your coding, and click Save All so you make sure all the changes are saved, you can hit the debug icon or hit F5 and run the debug one more time before you search to upload the file. Once that's done, we can go to WebCT. Alright, and then click on your class and the assignment that you want to turn in. And then we're going to click Attachments. Click Computer. And this is already in the folder that I want it to be in, but typically it will be on My Documents. And then you just want to navigate to your Projects folder in your Visual Studio folder. This is typically where the files are saved and find your application and drill down into the folder again then click on bin debug and here you'll see the executable file it's usually the first file that pops up if you don't see this exe it's probably something to do with your settings in uh, Windows Explorer so to show you that I have the application folder open here and it's the same folder so the reason why the executable file is showing is because you go to folder and search options and this is on Windows 7 so it should be something similar on XP or Vista. You're going to find view and then you're going to go down to hide extensions for known file types. Make sure this is unchecked. If it is checked you'll, here you'll, you will see that the exe disappears and when it's not checked the exe reappears. Okay, so once we're back here and you see the exe file, it's not the vshost.exe or the exe.manifest files, it's just the executable file. So double click on that, it'll upload. And you can always test and make sure it uploaded correctly by clicking on it and running it. And then you can test it out if you want to. And there you see it work properly. So once you're done, just click submit and that's how you upload an executable file.